let's give this problem a shot. It's giving me a little bit of trouble. So we have this box with the lengths of A, and on these corners, we got these particles. So like, this is the particle A, and it's got 2.67, even negative 15 coulombs, same thing with D. And then this particle actually has a charge of Q, and that particle has a charge of Q. And so one thing we need to do is to figure out the net force on particle A, and then um, set that equal to zero and figure out what Q is. So in order to do that, we should start drawing some force arrows. Because we know that these two, since they have the same charge, they're going to repel. So let's go ahead and draw those arrows like this, and like this. And we should know, because these lengths are equal, it's a square, so these angles are going to be 45 degrees. 45 degree angle. Right, just in case we need to know that. Now notice how this arrow is pointing in this direction, which means there's a pole this way and a pole that way. Which means that we need, if we want to make this equal to zero, we're going to need the counter pole. So this is going to be pulling this direction to equalize that side. And this one is going to be pulling in the other direction to equalize that side. And uh, now we have our arrows on that one. Let's just go ahead and add them as well on these, just for fun. And of course, there is going to be more on these other ones as well. But we're not going to deal with that right now. We're just going to try to figure out this one. The net force equal to uh, 0 for A. So now we have to add up these forces. And let's figure out what this length is. Um, based off of the Pythagorean theorem, this length is actually going to be square root of 2 times A. That's A square root of 2 right over there in the, in the length. And um, then we need to represent some forces. Let's equalize the Fy. It's going to be forced in the y direction. That's just going to be equal to this force, which is going to be force of D, uh, force DA, actually. It's really D on A. Um, and this is going to be sine of, uh, sine of 45, right? So sine of 45. And then we're going to have to subtract the blue. So minus force of C on A. And that's pretty nice. So it's the Fy direction. And for Fx direction, then we have very similar things. We're going to start with positive. It's going to be this way. So it's F of B on A. And then we're going to subtract the purple one, which is minus F uh, D on A, but with the cosine 45 and now we can see how these two because this is going to be equal to zero these two are just equal to each other so we can kind of even just put that on the right over here so fca is actually just equal to fd sine 45 because this again is supposed to be zero and that's supposed to be zero and over here fba oops fba is equal to f d a cosine 45. So let's see if we can figure that out, f d a. That comes from this thing right over here, and we know that the force of d a is going to be equal to uh, 2.67 e to negative 15. We're actually going to square that, and then we're going to divide that. Let's we'll throw the k constant in there. We got a square root of 2, and that's squared. That's going to be the force, um, that force. But we want to know the components. So for the um, for this one, we're going to be sine 45, and that one's going to be cosine 45. That's cool. Let's also figure out what some of these are so we can add those in. So let's see, FCA is going to be equal to this one. That's Q times 2.67 e to the negative 15 divided by a little k there. And then we got A squared. That's cool. And then um, now we can maybe even... Let's get this last one here. Uh, this one is just going to be... If I can squeeze it in there, F uh, B A is equal to very similar stuff. Q times 2.67 e to the negative 15. I think it's the same, isn't it? Um, 
Yeah. Okay, great. So those two are actually the same. And um, then we can just plug them into this. So let's try doing it on this side. We'll go K9, oh, this is a Q actually, uh, 2.67 e to the negative 15 divided by A squared is equal to this one, which is going to be K times 2.67 e to the negative 15 squared over a squared of 2 squared, and this is sine 45. And um, this should equal, so let's delete that, delete that, uh, delete the a squared, delete the a squared. Um, we're going to square this 2, so we got a 2 on the bottom, and then uh, we'll delete one of these. And so what we get is that q equals uh, 2.67 e to the negative 15 sine 45. Let's not forget to divide this by 2. So we're going to divide this by 2. Um, I think in the end it should be fine. Divide that by 2. And then now we've gotten my answer correctly. So this is 9.44 e to the negative 16 coulombs. And that is the answer for Q. Awesome. One last side note. Let's make sure that this sign is negative. Otherwise, we're going to get this answer incorrect because Q is supposed to be negative, not positive. Otherwise, there won't be the right force.